Hey, okay, so at my work, I work at a restaurant called Swiss Chalet, and I do takeout. And this is when you deal with like, it's basically like McDonald's, right? With all the bitchy people, if you don't get their food fast enough, they like yell at you and they spaz on you when it's not even your fault. So my biggest pet peeve is where the customers like sit to stand and to pay. Okay, see, this is where they come in. We have two cash, okay? This is the cash, take it. Or this is where the kitchen is. So they like to come in and stand right there. My money's right there. I'm standing right there. They're invading my personal space. It drives me insane. Okay? And this is where... Did I say pie? Okay. So, we have pies and our cakes and our pop. All just light so they can all see it. Okay? Even salads. And they like to like... Uh, they stare at it. Like, do I want a pie? Uh, no, I don't. Mmm, pop. Okay, so they go and like... Okay, would you like a drink with that? Um, what pops do you have? It's in there! I saw you looking in there! You kn I know you know where the pop is, because then what kind there is? It's really not that hard. And then, when they stand right here, they like to stand, like, w get closer and closer. And they try to, one person actually st stood right there. Like, right there. Here's the kitchen. Here's the orders that we're making. They're right there! Like, when people stand that close to the kitchen, you're not going to get your food faster. Like, if anything, like, if I know what order they are, I'm not going to lie, I take the, I take longer. Or if they complain, I take longer. I'm like, you shouldn't complain. We're doing the best we can. Like, if you see us slacking and laughing and it's taking you 20 minutes to get your order, yes, complain, right? We'll give you free food. But we're working. And half the time, they don't even understand because we do delivery and pickups and walk-ins. Like, that's a lot of orders at once. And they're like, why is it taking longer than two minutes when it takes two minutes to cut the chicken to get my food? Like, seriously? Customers get me so mad. And half the people I work with, too. Is it the kitchen supervisor? Okay. He is so freaking slow. Like, seriously, ribs take about five to 10 minutes on the grill to cook, right? Yeah, to cut the chicken, it usually takes two minutes. I called out my order, I called out what I needed, he slowly cutting the chicken. I got my ribs before I got my chicken. Wah! It gets me so mad. And I am my other manager, he has a freaking unibrow, okay? So when I talk to him, I'm staring at this unibrow, and then, okay, I'm talking to my friend Sarah, who, like, we text a lot, but, we haven't actually like talked because she works weekends and I don't. So the one weekend I was working, we and her are like catching up, blah, 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 blah. We're talking. It's like, stop talking. We have one order and it's a delivery. It's a timed order for two hours away. He's like, stop talking. We have to work to do. Stop talking. Even when like we're, when we're busy, yes, I understand. We shouldn't be talking. We should be working. But still, even when I'm off, I'm waiting for a drive home. She is cleaning. She is doing her job. He still yells. Stop talking. There's no talking. That's it. That's literally all he says. And it drives me insane. God, I hate my managers. My other manager, okay, he freaks out. Like he says, he's like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. When it came off the printer. So like, get this order out. It just came off the printer. Calm down. I hate my, my job. Is they put me okay? Our old store closed down, and they brought over and they brought us all over. Even though there was only like five of us left, they brought us all over, and they hired all these new people. Okay, they had a week's training. It takes about three months, three to four months to actually get good at your job at mine because it's so fast paced and it's so much to know. Right? Like, they still ask me questions if we've been open for almost three months now. Like, it's just stupid. But they hired, but they made me, who's worked 11.30 to 8, which is in a long shift, I know. But basically all day, and putting me with these new people who know nothing. And we're busy because it's festive, and people want stuffing, and stupid cranberries, and chocolates are delicious. So, I'm packing, and expoing, and getting the colds, running, 
when there's like 20 other bills and the managers are nowhere to be seen and we get missings because obviously I'm rushing to get them out of the order and I get in trouble. It's like, put some of the new people on so I'm not doing everything myself. I want a new job.